are in Hilo, Hawaii. Aloha with Captain Gary Hall on Sailing Vessel Limite. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Hall. I used to do surgery on people. Today, I do surgery on boat parts. The boat part today, I'm trying to mount a new combination navigation anchor light on the top of my mast. I had a Amazonia Miram 3 light that burn out so this light mounts into this aluminum base as it shows on this picture here all the connections are down in that base to protect them from water so I ordered a new Miriam 3 light no problem that's the way it was listed but guess what and I received in the mail a Amazonia Miriam 4 light which as you can tell mounts totally different so I called them, let them know I wanted the Miriam 3. They go, oh no, you're lucky. We upgraded you to the Miriam 4. I said, thank you, but I don't feel that lucky because this doesn't fit on my mounting bracket. They go, no problem. It comes with its own mounting bracket. Well, they are correct, but this mounting bracket is a solid plastic mounting bracket that fits up on the inside. And these connectors I've already added on here, but this fits up on the inside and there is no room for connectors. They have you bring in the wires on the outside and basically that doesn't work for me. So I decided what shall I do? So I took this solid block of plastic that they provided as the base. It has the wires from the mask will come up through the hole and there's three screw holes. I wanted to make room for the uh, connectors. So I took a one and a quarter inch wood bit, which I just happened to have aboard. And I use that to drill out approximately one centimeter worth of this base which made room then for these connectors to lay. When I was uh, then trying out the uh, screws that came with it, the uh, width of the screw heads uh, were hitting and they weren't going down all the way, which then impedes the amount of space in here for the uh, connectors. Therefore, I used a 115 uh, burr drill tool, I'm not sure what they got, a cutting tool, or my Dremel tool, and that then drilled out just the perfect little space on each of these three for the screw heads to fit down flush and that gives me enough room I think for the uh, connectors of the wire. So I'm now going to go up to the mast and see if this works and I will let you know shortly. So, as I always figured, one trip up the mast is not going to do it. I went up the mast and tried to fasten this over the wires that come up through, and they have a rather large amount of insulation around them. It wouldn't fit through the hole, and so this would not set down flat on the top of the mast. So, got out another trusty wood bit, because it's the biggest one I have, and drilled out this hole a little bit. And so now, we shall see if it will all work. Stay tuned. I'm happy to report that everything fit perfectly and is working perfectly, so that is good. However, I do still need to take one more trip up the mast, and because I forgot to bring Tef gel with me. This, the screws that come with this new mounting bracket are stainless steel, and I did have aluminum screws, so I'm going to put some Tef gel on those. And also the uh, uh, space in the bracket that, where the connectors were on the previous one was all filled with some uh, silicone sealant. I think I'm going to do that too just to uh, minimize chances of any moisture getting in. So all works well, well and uh, good luck if you have to do this yourself. Bye.